Wait! Ah! He's... He's passed over the barrow. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Yeah. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you are saying, split up? We just made it through a freaking dragon attack. If you have help down in the village, then I'm following you, man. I mean... You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Well, I won't argue with you. I do indeed uh, know what the face of the Empire is now, just not entirely certain that I'm an army man. Are you sure that your sister's going to have more than enough beds? Sorry to keep you. Don't worry, I'm, I'm just doing a little bit of uh, botany. You know, herbalism, if you will. Or herbalism. See that ruin up there? Hmm? Link Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. What's so creepy about it? It's just a barrow. I mean... Just a bunch of dead people hanging out on a cliffside. Deep underneath the earth. Not radically different from living next to a graveyard, except, uh... Just a little bit more intricate, right? More thistle. Ooh, what are these? Oh, the Guardian Stones. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. Mm, okay. I'm going to be using magic, so... Those under the skill of the mage learn all magic skills 20% faster. We'll go ahead and accept this. Mage, eh? Well, to each his own. It's not for me to judge. No, you damn straight it isn't for you to judge. I mean, I'm a little bit high on life right now, man. Feel like I won the motherfucking lottery! Just survived the dragon attack, for God's sake. One hell of a way to enter a country. I mean, it's quite Remember, different. This isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. If we run into any Imperials, just let me do the talk. Alright? Can do. Hang on. Those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. <laughs> uh, you say that, man. But, um. Gotta be prepared for anything, right? Like that pack of dogs up on the hill that I knew about. Because... I have the most phenomenal intuition. And not because... Not because... Uh... I've experienced this entire adventure in a different lifetime or something like that. <laughs> More red flowers. Red is for mana. Very strange the way they did that. The red flowers cre uh, give you mana, the blue f flowers give you life. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, uh, believe me, I'm not doing it because of uh, their safety in numbers. I'm not really afraid of getting a scratch on me. I'm more concerned about getting a free bed for the night or something like that. Well, actually, it boils down to free supplies. But uh, just don't tell your sister that, okay, Raylov? I mean, I, I don't want to, you know, come off as rude. Looks like nobody here knows what happened. Come on. Gerd was probably working in her lumber mill. Dragon! I saw a dragon! What? Did I see you talking to Sven? What? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Whatever, I don't even know what you're talking about there, pal. It's really insulting. I was almost called Sven. My father had to stop my, uh, no, my mom had to stop my dad from naming me Sven. 
because I do have Nordic blood in me. You know, in that traditional Gerber. American sense. Brother, Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerder. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Pod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Spend drunk on the job again? Pod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Come. I'll be right down. Hmm. I see how it is. Sven is the n Sven is now the town drunk. Now the name that never was that uh, I almost had. I just feel even more insulted now. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Alfred Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. It won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. <sighs> Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. I had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today. As far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Just take all of this stuff here. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Going to a good cause. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. My sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Uh, Gerder. I'm glad to help any way I can. You told me to go to Whiterun. I've never actually set foot in Skyrim before today. How do I get there? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see Whiterun on its hill as you pass the falls. Thanks. What about the Jarl that I need to deliver the message to? Is there anything that I should know about him? Jarl Balgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful, as he's ruled Whiterun hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. 
He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. Wrong choice? Is he loyal to the Empire? I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. Wait, who's Elisif? I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turug just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turug was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turig dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. You're telling me Ulfric killed the High King? A lot of what they were saying as they had us lined up to the block is making more sense now. Some say murdered, but it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. So as of now, there's no High King of Skyrim? And I suppose Ulfric wants to lay claim to the throne. No, not until the Moot meets to choose another, and it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry, though. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. I suppose. And from all of this, I take it you're in favor of the war? The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raelof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. Eh, <laughs> age. I understand. Thank you very much, Gerda. I'll be on my way. Aye. What do we have here? Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Sorry. It didn't look like you needed help. Certainly not, but a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. What... she... I'm sorry, what's a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Really? Any chance you're looking for new blood? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane, up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Anything on this? Just a couple of Skyforge arrows. All right, well... <clears throat> Fight with us well, and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to Yurvaskar, if you're worth anything in a fight. I might, I just might, but for now, I need to go and talk to the Jarl. Nothing like that first trip out to Whiterun, am I right? A card on the right, followed by the stables, which I've seen several times. The wonderful discovery messages. It just, it's never ending, is it? And I gotta say, I'm not entirely certain about the way that the walls uh, around White Run have been retextured. They look like cobblestone slapped together instead of bricks. Uh, I, I guess, yeah, I guess it is what it is. You're not always gonna get what you want, but it's way, way, way too. I don't know. I guess it's the contrast. Anyways, up into the city we go. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I come from Riverwood. They call for the Jarl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Will do. Just grab some flowers. <laughs> Alright. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. 
Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. If the news from you have me is true, is, uh -oh. well, then, there's no t My lord, please. This is no what time for rash are they talking action. about? I just think we need more information before we act. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not step? receiving visitors. Girder of Riverwood sent me. The town is in danger. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. Helgen was destroyed by a dragon attack. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. All right then. Um, there's nothing like approaching me with, an, uh, with a blade at the ready, you know, when I haven't exactly done anything to really rouse suspicion. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes. I was in Helgen as it was burnt to the ground. Barely made it out alive. And last I saw, the beast was headed this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Oh. Um, uh, okay then. There's one, one flashy robe you got on there, Balgriff. Who does the dye work for your outfits? I'd, I'd like to get me one of them robes. Of course, your crown is what... Uh, you know what, never mind. Wouldn't want to, uh... Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your... Dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Faringar? So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch... I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Alright. Where is this tablet supposed to be? What does it look like? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone. Said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Bleak Falls Barrow? Do you know anything else about this location? What dangers it might hold? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. And how exactly do you know that this stone tablet is inside of Bleak Falls Barrow? That's a rather specific bit of information to have. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. I see. As an aside, are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. 
She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. I'll find myself down there anyway. Hand them over. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Yes. Clearly, Farngar. Let's back up a little bit, though. You said that Bleak Falls Barrow may date back to the Dragon War. What is that? Some significant historical event, I assume. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlord. So, does that mean all the dragons were killed in the Dragon War? Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. Hmm. Built to house a dragon. Have you ever encountered one before? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf when I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Indeed. Something I'd like to see. But in any case, before I leave, what do you have for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. Thanks. You know, this is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Oh, we finally, I'm back here. Nothing like uh, hot footing it and you know doing all the legwork to get from point A to point B, right? And it's not like I've been annoyed by that freaking guard who's been running out here. Like they sent a detachment. It's one guy, single freaking guard. Anyway, here I am. All we got to do is talk to some of the locals to find out where I need to go.